All right, here we go. This one's going to be a 45 auto test. Today, we're going to be testing out the infamous Winchester Black Talon. So here is what that thing looks like. It does have that black Lubalox coating on that bullet. It is 230 grain. Has your nickel plated brass. And from what I can find, it's rated in between 885 to 935 feet per second. Uh, it was definitely pretty tough to uh, source a velocity for this one. So we'll see how uh, close we come today. So we'll be going out of our short barrel Rock Island GICS. That is a three and a half inch barrel. We'll be going through our gel. It is a 10% block. We do have our catch block behind that. So a total of 22 inches of gel. Our four layers of cotton t-shirt on the front. And like always, we'll set up our chronograph so we can hopefully pick up those impact velocities. So let's set up and see if this round lives up to its nasty reputation. All right, we're setting back to 15 feet. All right, let's see what we did on that one. All right, so it looks like our impact velocity on that one was 814.8. So actually uh, not too bad for that short barrel. So let's see how we did. All right, so there is that entry. Looks like I got a really good hit on that block. And like always, you can see right down in that cavity. It looks like we have a really nice star pattern so far. Let's, let's check it out from the top. Oh yeah, check that out. Looks like I have some really nice spiral cuts going all the way through. Looks like it did settle down just a little bit towards the end, and we actually did make it into that second block, so really good to see. So let's check that measurement from the top. So at our widest spot, we are right at two and a half inches, so really good to see there. Um, like always, we'll cut these open so we can get a little bit more accurate measurement for that uh, cross section. So let's see from the side. And same thing from the side, looking really good. So it looks like as soon as that thing came in, pretty much got immediate expansion. Pretty good uh, disruption in that gel. Looks like it carried probably about two thirds of the way and then it did uh, settle down a little bit and then you can see it resting that second block. So let's see the measurement on this side. So at our widest spot here, we're about two and a quarter inches. Uh, so definitely not as wide from the side than the top, but still really good. So let's check out where that round is resting. So you can see it down in there and it looks like it is facing downward. So at our leading edge there, we are at four inches. So that looks like we made it a total of 15 inches of penetration. So not too bad at all. So I'm gonna flip this block so we can get a little bit better idea what that thing is doing. And we'll check out that track. So uh, I wasn't sure if this thing was gonna expand or go all the way through or not. So I was actually planning on shooting a bare block, um, but it looks like we got expansion. So I don't think we need to do that this time. So really good to see that that thing, um, you know, actually opened up. I know a lot of people don't care for the SXT or the, you know, Black Talon, Ranger T, all that stuff, just because they say that they don't expand. But in uh, you know, all my testing, they always seem to do really good. So here's that track one more time from the top. See where it came in. Open up really nicely. Got some nice uh, spiral cuts going all the way through. Looks like it did settle down just a little bit. And then there it is resting in that block. So let's uh, pull this thing out and see what it looks like. All right, you know what? Before we actually show that round, I actually want to shoot it through bare gel. Um, it seemed to do really good through the four layers, but uh, might as well get a second shot. It's always fun just to get a second shot in. So this is going to be a bare gel shot. All right, we're still back to 15 feet. All right, let's see how we did on that one. All right, so it looks like our impact velocity was 789.4. So definitely a little bit uh, slower on that one, but you know, still for that short barrel is pretty impressive. 
and here is that track so it looks like you got a really good hit on this one also and same as that last one you see right down in that cavity big old 45 hole and then a pretty nice star pattern so far so let's check it out from the top oh yeah pretty much the same exact thing those tracks look pretty much identical and it looks like it did uh, carry most of the way and then it did settle down towards the end we did make it into that block it doesn't look like we made it as far but still pretty good so with this one actually went you know this way and then the first shot i was coming towards us i had the block flipped just because i didn't want to mess up the track on the other side so let's see what kind of measurement we have on this bear gel shot so at our widest spot literally identical two and a half inches on that one so let's see from the side and same thing from the side so it looks like as soon as that thing came in immediately opened up have some really nice distinct uh, spiral cuts going through looks like it carried this energy a little bit further than that last one pretty much the whole way and then it started to settle down that last maybe half inch or so and then you can see it resting down in that second block so let's see from the side and here from the side this is at two inches so a little bit less from the side than the top but still not too bad and then you can see that round resting in there um Definitely didn't go as far. Um, you know, I'm sure it opened up a little bit wider because it was that bear gel, but still pretty darn good. So at our leading edge, we are at two inches. So that one made it 13 inches. And I believe that last one was 15 inches. Uh, so still pretty good. So I'm gonna flip this block one more time so we can show both those tracks. And then I'll pull these rounds and then we'll show those. All right, so I'm sure this is gonna probably be a little bit confusing. So the one on the right is actually the four layers of cotton t-shirt and that one's going away from us. And then the one coming towards us is the bear gel. So I actually flipped the block over. So the tracks are, you know, on the opposite sides, but really good. They pretty much look identical. So I'll show that four layers of cotton t-shirt one. So you can see it came in, opened up really nicely. It's an awesome stretch cavity going through. And then we made it pretty far into that second block. And here's that bear gel shot. Pretty much the same exact thing. Really nice cuts going through. Started to settle down a little bit. And then that one also made it into that second block. So let's pull these rounds and see what they look like. All right, guys, check these things out. It looks like they both got some really awesome expansion. So the one on the right is that uh, four layers of cotton t-shirt, and the one on the left is that bear gel. So I wasn't really planning on doing both shots. Um, I was only going to do the second shot if the first one failed through the cotton t-shirt. Um, but, you know, we're here. Might as well. It's always fun just to get a little bit more shooting in. So here is that one that went through that cotton t-shirt some really nice expansion basically picture perfect on that one you can see those nasty talons sticking out those nice uh, sharp pedals and uh, definitely open up really good so really good to see that you know even that old technology can keep up with some of this new stuff definitely one nasty round and here is that bear jail shot same thing with this one it definitely opened up a little bit more Got a little bit more pill back. You can see those petals peeled back just a little bit further than that uh, cotton t-shirt one. But one nasty round. They both have uh, quite a bit of uh, gel still stuffed in them. So we'll rinse all these out before we get our still shots and all that good stuff. But some nasty rounds right there. So we'll do one time from the bottom. So one on the right is that cotton t-shirt. One on the left is that bear gel shot. And last time from the top. So like I said, I'll do uh, our still shots and slow-mo and all that good stuff here at the end, guys. But there we go. That one was 45 Auto, Winchester, Black Talon, four layers of cotton t-shirt, and bear gel. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, and here's that cross-section for that first one that we did. This is the one that went through that four layers of cotton t-shirt. You can see it has some nice wide splits going on. Really distinct spiral cuts. Um, I did remeasure these and they're right at two and a half inches. And I believe that's what we were getting out there too. So let's cut it open. All right, and here's after being cut. So this bottom is the right, this top is the left. So it looks like a little bit past that quarter inch mark started to open up. You can see some nice stretching going on. See a little bit of that cotton t-shirt down in there. Uh, but we got some really clean cuts. And uh, I think it was definitely pretty impressive that it actually opened up. You know, at that low velocity, I know a lot of people don't care for those uh, Ranger T's or Black Talons, SXT, whatever you want to call them. It's pretty much all the same stuff, just a different generation. But um, they do definitely have a hard time opening up, you know, through barriers. So it's really cool to see that through that four layers of cotton t-shirt that they're actually working how they're supposed to.
But you can see here on the top, same thing came in, opened up. Nice stretch going all the way through, and there's a little bit more of that uh, fabric down in there. Definitely some nice wide splitting. Pretty big cuts going on. So there we go, guys. That one was that Winchester Black Talon through that four layers of cotton t-shirt. All right, here's that cross section for that bear gel shot. So same thing with this one. Has some really nice distinct cuts in there. Really nice star pattern going on. Same thing on this other side. And I did remeasure these, and these are right at two and three quarter inches. Uh, so a quarter inch more than our last shot, but kind of expected because it didn't have any barriers to go through. So let's cut it open. All right, and here's after being cut. So this bottom is the right, this top is the left. So it actually looks like this one opened up a little bit quicker than that other shot. So pretty much right, that quarter inch mark started to open up. And you can see that cavity going all the way through. And uh, definitely quite a bit of damage in there. Same thing as that last one, nice deep cuts. Really, really clean cuts going in there. But quite a bit of damage. And the same thing on the top. Came in, started to parachute open and just creating a ton of damage in there. And that one uh, wasn't moving as fast as that first shot, but you know, still got quite a bit of damage because it was that bear gel shot. But pretty darn impressive. Cool to see that old technology can still keep up with the best of them. And you know, that actually opened up. But pretty awesome for that short barrel 45. So there we go guys, that one was that Winchester Black Talon and that was that bear gel shot.